It's me, Ashley. Uh, Walter's about the house. We have company tonight. Um, and maybe we'll have a special guest appearance later. Uh, but we are excited. I want to show um, just doing easy, easy appetizers. Easy for a small crowd. Like, there's two of us. Um, but appetizers are still nice and fancy if you want to have a nice progressive meal while you're, you know, enjoying the night. So... Um, I'm going to make two of these. I just made these for the Women's Marketplace Palooza, um, and I'm going to do the same ones because I still have the ingredients left over, and it's going to be great. All right, so we are doing cucumber hummus feta bites. These things are amazing. I've got one cucumber. I've got my handy um, slicer, veggie slicer. I'm going to set this on level three. Again, I've got the blade in there so I don't lose any fingers. These guys go nice and easy. Okay, so basically I'm gonna take those. Once I'm done with those, I go on to the plate. I already went ahead and chopped up some little grape tomatoes, chopped those in half. Um, so these little cucumber slices are gonna go on to the plate. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my baby scoop, cause you guys know how much I love my little scoops. And I got a tub of hummus. So I'm gonna do a little baby scoop of hummus on each of the cucumbers. On they go, easy peasy. And then from there, I'm gonna take a little bit of feta, already crumbled up. I'm gonna take that, shake that right over the top of the hummus. Delicious, feta feta. And then I'm gonna just take a half of these grape tomatoes and I'm gonna shove it right down on the top. And those are ready to go. I was even thinking it would be good if we had like a um a, like a kalamata olive like that would be probably pretty good too and maybe oh my guest thinks that that's a good idea so maybe we'll make that happen too let's do that where them olives i'm sneaking do it <laughs> guest appearance heather short is short <laughs> that's super good oh my gosh Yes, let's do it. Let's put the little olives on there because those will be yum too. A little hummus. Yum. Again, these are a nice, like, healthy um, option for anybody who is either on Weight Watchers, very low in points, um, or anybody who's trying to keep things gluten free. It's another great option. I am just gonna put that little olive right on there. Delicious. Good to go. <laughs> okay, so part two of Appetizer Madness uh, here on a Hash Tuesday, just like old times. Um, again, I made these um, uh, super simple. Um, these were um, little blackberry. Um, um, what were they even called? What did I call them? They're right in front of me. Hold on. They were blackberry goat cheese crostinis. Okay, so what I did take, I took like a whole baguette and then sliced it, sprayed it with olive oil, and then put it in the oven, baked it, and got them all crunchy. I don't have a baguette, so all is not lost. Everything's fine. I do have a pack of crackers, so we're going to use those instead as our base. Things do not always have to be as fancy as they seem. Keep things simple. So, starting off, nice little whole wheat crackers. In here, in the manual food press processor, which I've used a bajillion times before, love it. Love it for salsa, love it for um, making any kinds of dips and anything like that, guacamole, all kinds of stuff. Um, fruit spreads, like if I need to like puree fruit or anything like that, love the manual food processor. So in here I have four ounces of goat cheese and I've got two ounces of cream cheese and just, you know, uh, got them together and made sure they were all creamed together. I'm going to take my little mini spreader. I love this little guy. He's great for um, cookies. He's great for, um, well, look, I already broke that one. It's delicious. Look at that. It's the hostess piece. That's what we call that. Okay, so anyways, the little mini spreader. He's great for frosting cupcakes, frosting sugar cookies. I use them all the time for appetizers. Anytime you're spreading stuff on, go for it. So anyways, I'm going to spread a little bit of this on to each of my little crackers. 
that goat cheese and that cream cheese. And then once I'm done with that, I'm gonna top each of them with a big old fat blackberry that goes right on top. And then maybe two if you're feeling really generous as a hostess, which I am. Uh, and then from there, I'm gonna drizzle on just a little bit of honey. And that's easy peasy. Little bit of honey on top. And from there, to make it even more fancy, here's my Pamper Chef herb milk. You guys know I love this thing. I've got fresh basil in here, courtesy of Charlene Smith and her Juice Plus uh, hydroponic tower, which is amazing. So she brought me the most beautiful basil that smells amazing. So this goes right into the mill, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that in a nice even section right over the top of those. So there you go, it is fresh, it is easy. If you would like, you can use a gluten-free cracker. Um, I don't have any in my house right now, so I'm not. But that's that. Enjoy! Happy eating, happy entertaining, happy hashing for us. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited. Walter says, yay, Yay, Walter!